Ukraine used drones to attack an airbase in Russia's Volgograd region in an escalation of its long-range strike campaign. The Wall Street Journal reports that Ukraine said the strike targeted fuel depots and glide bombs, which Russia has made a key weapon in its recent offensive to poke holes in Ukrainian defenses. Russian authorities in Volgograd said a drone crash had sparked a fire at a military airbase in the town of Marinovka. Ukraine relies on explosives, domestically produced drones, to strike deep into Russia because it has few long-range missiles of its own and is barred by the United States and other partners from using their long-range missiles inside Russia. In recent weeks, Ukraine has launched a series of strikes against Russian air defenses, fuel and ammunition depots and aircraft. At the same time, Ukraine is calling on the United States to give itself a free hand by allowing the use of American-made missiles known as ATACMS in Russia. Our Ukrainian drones work exactly as they should, but there are things that cannot be done with drones. Unfortunately, we need other weapons, missiles, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said. The intensified drone campaign in Ukraine comes as Kyiv's forces seek to consolidate control over a swathe of Russian territory they seized during a lightning invasion of the Kursk region. Zelensky said Russia's muted response to the Kursk incursion showed that Western fears of escalation were exaggerated. If our partners lifted all current restrictions on the use of weapons on Russian territory, we would not need to physically enter, in particular, the Kursk region to protect our Ukrainian citizens in border settlements and eliminate Russia's potential for aggression. Any further delay on the part of our partners in long-range weapons de facto becomes, perhaps, the most effective support for Russia's offensive potential, Zelensky said. The Biden administration eased restrictions on the use of American weapons after Russia invaded the northern Ukrainian region of Kharkiv again in May, allowing Kyiv to fire artillery and short-range missiles from HIMARS launchers at command posts, weapons depots and other targets across the border. But the policy did not give Ukraine permission to use long-range ATACMS missiles inside Russia. Since then, Ukraine has stepped up its drone strikes, but by targeting air bases deep inside Russia, Ukraine could force Moscow to move its air defense systems away from frontline areas. Drone strikes could also prompt Russia to move some of its fighters and strike fighters to bases much further from Ukraine. That has already reduced the frequency of glide bomb missions by forcing them to fly farther, on average toward their bases, Bronk said. Mykola Malamuz, general of the Ukrainian army and former head of Ukraine's foreign intelligence service, asserts that recent successful strikes by Ukrainian forces on Russian airfields reveal a significant gap in Russia's air defense capabilities. He shared these insights on Espresso TV. Ukraine is shifting its war tactics. For weeks now, our defense forces have been systematically targeting Russian military sites. We're deploying long-range drones capable of carrying various payloads from 40 kilograms to 500 kilograms. These drones can strike significant military targets, aircraft, airfields, control systems and ammunition depots. This will cripple Russia's ability to strike our forces, Malamuz stated. The general emphasized that these strikes on Russian airfields need to be continuous. Our strikes on Russian military airfields must also hamper their strategic aviation operations. These bombers launch attacks on our territory from airfields in the Murmansk region and beyond. Systematic strikes on Russian airfields are crucial as they threaten the destruction of aircraft and fight control systems. For instance, the airfield in the Murmansk region is over 2,000 kilometers away. Notably, the Russians lack robust air defense at these airfields. Only now are they beginning to bolster anti-aircraft defenses around their airfields, he added. Recall on July the 27th, drones from Ukraine's main Directorate of Intelligence hit a Tu-22M3 strategic bomber at the Olenya airfield in Russia. Ukraine's main Directorate of Intelligence noted that the Olenya airfield is located 1,800 kilometers from Ukraine's border. Defense Express military expert Ivan Kirichevsky pointed out that this attack on the Olenya airfield set a new distance record for Ukrainian drones. 
On the night of August the 22nd, drones targeted the Marinovka military airfield in the Volgograd region. Local authorities reported a fire at a Ministry of Defense facility. Recently, Ukrainian drones have struck the Marinovka airfield in Russia's Volgograd region, which the enemy is actively using to bomb the front line in Ukraine. Security Service of Ukraine destroyed warehouses with cabs and fuel at the Marinovka airfield. Local Russians complain that after the attack by Ukrainian Special Operations Forces drones, their military airfield looks like a scene from an apocalypse movie.